plastic free July shopping. We don't live anywhere close to any place that has any bulk food shopping options currently, but I was able to, because I was doing something else at the time, I was able to do some shopping at a store that I know has bulk food. So I wanted to show you my shopping haul, my plastic free shopping haul. So all of the things that I got, um, it's not very many, but there are things that I knew that I needed and around here they would have to be in plastic. So the first thing that I got that I'm super pumped about is popcorn. So I brought along my cloth produce bags and I just filled it up with popcorn um, and brought it home. So we have a container, it's actually an old peanut butter jar container that we refill with the, the popcorn kernels. Typically we buy the um, bulk popcorn kernels like in a plastic bag, but since it's plastic free July, I'm not going to do that right now. And I was so happy that I got the opportunity to do that. So bunch of popcorn, we will have plenty, we'll have plenty of popcorn to pop off. Oh, so excited, I love popcorn. So the next thing I have is chocolate chips. Um, again, pretty much everywhere you have to buy chocolate chips in a plastic bag. <sighs> plastic free July, I'm all out of chocolate chips so I'm not going to do that. So these I'm going to use to make some um, energy bites. Really love doing that. So easy to make. Um, if you want a recipe that I like to use. I will I will show you that sometime just let me know oh the store that I went to where I bought these bulk items in my own bag uh, how they do things is you fill up the bag they provide plastic bags or in my case trying not to use plastic bags so using your own cloth bag you fill up the bag with with what you are using so in this case chocolate chips yay chocolate chips so you fill up the bag and then you take a sticker and you write the bin number on there and that way they can put it on the scale to get the weight of however much you bought and then punch into the computer exactly what number it is and the computer calculates which item you got and how much it costs. So the next thing that I bought was um, dried apricots. Dried apricots. We love dried apricots. Uh, the main place that I get them is at Aldi, but of course, again, it comes in a plastic bag. So, this way, I, again, just put it in my own. This bag actually might have been one that um, I received a gift in, and I was like, oh, that would be a great bulk foods bag. So I just saved it, and that's what I use it for now. So, uh, dried apricots. We love to cook with them. We love to just snack on them. Dried apricots. Uh, the next thing, and we actually used these this morning, we were in a bit of a rush this morning, but if you remember me talking about the incident with my daughter and the snacks, I was thinking I need to have something, I'm going to make those energy bites, but I need to have something else, some snacks that are available so that they can help themselves, but we use less plastic or we don't use plastic during the time that we're doing Plastic Free July. So I got these little energy bites. So I filled up the bag with them. Well, it's not as many as there were, but um, I think these were like carob and spirulina. They're pretty good. They're a good snack. So they're a bit more on the expensive side. Um, so it's not something that I'm obviously going to get all the time can't get them all the time because the store is too far away but even if I could I wouldn't get these all the time but good to have snacks during plastic free July lastly I'm all out of shampoo and I need shampoo so um, I could buy there's actually a local grocery store that does sell shampoo bars if you want to know about my my journey trying out shampoo bars I'll link a video about that there is a local store that sells, I think it's like some local business that makes the shampoo bars and um, I like those. However, they wrap it in plastic. So, oh, I mean, I could do that and just use less plastic than like the plastic bottles with the liquid shampoo. 
but while I was at the store I decided to look and I found a shampoo bar so um, I'm gonna try this one out I hope it works um, I wish that I lived close to like a lush store but we don't anymore because they have some pretty awesome shampoo bars that I really like um, so yeah that's everything that I bought plastic free no plastic and in fact no packaging at all during this shopping haul. Woohoo! For some context with some shopping stuff, we live out in the middle of nowhere. And so our shopping options are very limited. There's almost no bulk food area. There's coffee bulk in some stores. I'm going to show you how to how I do that. Uh, but we have kind of the standard stores that you would expect from a middle of nowhere rural type of area so we've got Walmart we have Dollar General um, we have an Aldi and we have some some small um, local grocery stores um, not very many of those and they're pretty far away so let's all work together and encourage each other so that we can all practice practical conservation Alright, so I'm going to share with you my next plastic free shopping haul, which I did in the area at our local Walmart. So the first two things I got were pretty much pantry staples in most households. Peanut butter. I was able to find peanut butter in a glass jar. It is more expensive than the peanut butter I usually get, but it is in a glass jar. It is plastic free. And the other thing is almond butter. This is actually... The Sam's Choice Walmart brand almond butter and it comes in a glass jar the next thing I got was a vanilla bean vanilla beans are pretty expensive but we like to use it to make vanilla sugar so you basically just cut down a lengthwise and and then you put it in a big jar of sugar you let it sit for a few weeks and it flavors the sugar gives it a little hint of vanilla flavor so that's really good. We really like to have that on hand. And then when all that sugar is used up, we will then use it to flavor our oatmeal. So don't waste any bit of it. And it comes in a glass jar. Next thing I got was flour because flour comes in paper. Yay! Usually. Some people buy it in plastic bags, but if you don't have to, buy it in paper. The next things I got are pretty ordinary, normal things that you would get. It's fruit so here's some mangoes just fruit you just you don't have to put it in a bag if it has a peel like this like like a mangoes in this case or a banana or oranges or other citrus like lemons limes you do not need to put it in a bag so there's no need for a plastic bag if you want to keep it together you can put it in a reusable bag but there is no need for a plastic bag so mangoes with no plastic and cantaloupe with no plastic this one isn't a normal thing for us but I thought it might be fun the kids thought it would be fun to try so we're gonna try out dragon fruit again there's no need for it to be in a plastic bag so lastly here's the thing that you might not have known that you can do in stores such as Walmart or most other grocery stores that have a bakery section so in this bag I have from the bakery section bread rolls this is actually not as many as we bought we had some with dinner um, but all you have to do instead of using one of the plastic bags that they provide just bring along your own bag and put it in there and you can do it at the regular checkout and just tell them what's in the bag how many rolls um, or sometimes they'll check sometimes they'll open it up and check and see how many are in there you can also just go to the self checkout lane that way you control it you know exactly what it's going to be so you know you know that it's going to be taken care of also from the bakery section we used another another bag and we got my kids have been wanting for a while I haven't bought for a while bagels so you just take the bagels out of the bakery display and you put it in your own bag instead of in the bags that they provide instead of in the the containers that they provide for you so we also had donuts in here I gave those to my kids already as a special treat because 
the report was that they did a good job at day camp today, so I figured that they deserved a special treat, and they got some donuts that were also put in a reusable bag. So that's it! I was able to buy all of these things that you just saw at Walmart completely plastic free. My shopping bags, I brought my own shopping bags, so no plastic bags there. Use no plastic bags on any of the produce, on any of the bread. So completely plastic free shopping at Walmart. You can even do that. Whatever you need to do. So you can see this is how you can do plastic free shopping at almost any of your local stores. So are you participating in Plastic Free July? Are there any thoughts or questions that you have around Plastic Free July? Do you think it's possible for us to do Plastic Free July anywhere? I'm excited to have popcorn again. I'm excited to have popcorn again.